to know, how did you get into fighting? I was uh, 110 kilos, fat guy with the baddest lifestyle ever, ex-smoker, so I just wanted to, to train and lose some weight. But I felt I had some passion in fighting, so I just said, give it a try. I started training Muay Thai at first, and uh, after three years, I felt I have to go for it. I quit my job as a registered nurse for training and started my professional career three years ago and now I'm 6'1 as a pro. It's been, it's been a rough childhood when I went to the streets like 15 years and started to have friends. I was bullied at first but after one year uh, I have to change and be tough and take care of myself so I felt strange first. But uh, I had to defend myself. And after I trained Muay Thai and MMA, I felt disciplined. So I don't go to any street fights because already I, I know I have this self-confidence. So I don't have to prove anything, even for myself. When I started fighting as a pro, it was hard to, to be a fighter. In Lebanon, as a fighter, you don't get any money for, for fighting, so you have to invest in yourself. So I had to train, I have to teach Muay Thai and teach too many classes and waste energy on, on working other than working on myself. I've always been a fan of fighting. K1, UFC I used to watch. But to be honest, I didn't felt like I can be one of those and be a pro fighter. But I knew that I have this inside me. Uh, in Lebanon, there's corruption in every field, you know. The journey here in Lebanon as a fighter is more complicated and more tough than other places because you have no sponsors, you have no backup in anything. And I feel it's coming because I'm doing all the work. About MMA and why it's banned in Lebanon, because there's like a lot of sports. It's Muay Thai, Kyukish uh, and Karate and other sports that had to be very popular in Lebanon, but after MMA came to the scene, took all the students of the other martial arts so they made this debate about it's a very dangerous sport and no one should fight so we could stop MMA and keep the other sports growing we have to make by our own my only loss was uh, in Lebanon for uh, CFC it's called Cedar Fighting Championship it was the first pro fight for me and I was so eager to fight in Lebanon so my friends can watch it. Before one day, they told me you, do, you can't knee to the head and you can't do ground and pound, that's my style. But I made this mistake and I take full responsibility for, for it. I went for the fight and he was not a fighter, you know? He's not like the, the one who wants to fight and take punches and trade punches. I, I, I learned a lot from this fight. It made me more uh, aware about all the stuff around me my coach, my gym, what I should have to be better in, in this field. I feel like it pushed me more than it took me down. Okay, so I hear that you're a knockout artist. What I had to put to my game is to be more clever because I'm the, I'm the guy that always go for the knockout and like to fight and trade punches and kicks. I don't like to be clever for, for like, to be honest. I, I like the fight to be airs. Always fight and blood goes everywhere. But to go to the next level, you have to be more smart. Now I'm more clever, I'm more aware, about, more mature about fighting. I'm not going just for the kill, but I will keep knocking people out for sure. Okay, so tell me, do you ever surrender? I never surrender. I never surrender. In my fights, i never been submitted. No one will break me because I've been in the worst situation that any fighter can be. So until my body say I cannot fight anymore, no one will break me ever. The guys in front of me always uh, take the hardest fights and always try to improve and go to the next level. And I will never be happy to be on any level that give me just recognition because I'm, I'm, I'm going up.